Hi friends, I'm Sydney. I work at the Ragsdale YMCA and I work with Play Zone and Summer Day Camp. So I'm super excited to be reading a story to you today. I hope that you and your families are happy and healthy and safe. So today we're going to read about a little koala named Kevin. And Kevin is a little bit scared of stuff. He's scared to get out of his tree because he doesn't think it's safe. So he's just very nervous about trying new things and going and doing new things with his friends. So that causes him to miss out on some stuff. So let's go ahead and read how Kevin the koala adapts to the changes that he's faced. The Koala Who Could by Rachel Wright, written by Jim Theory. In a wonderful place where the day was just dawning and the breezes blew soft on a warm golden morning. In a place where the creatures ran wild and played free, a koala named Kevin clung to a tree. Do you think you can find Kevin for me? When you find him, say, got him. I see him. You're right. He's right here in his tree. A nicer gray fellow you, would, you never would meet as soft as a soft thing from ear tufts to feet. His favorite way to relax in the sun was to cling and to nap and to munch a leaf bun. And after all this, well, he'd need a nice rest. Yes, Kevin liked sticking to what he knew best. What do you think Kevin knows best? Probably staying on that tree. You see, High up was safe since he liked a slow pace while the ground down below seemed a frightening place. Too fast, too loud, and too big, and too strange. Nope, Kevin preferred not to move or not to change. Have you ever had something change in your life and you didn't like it and you didn't know how you were going to make it work? That's how Kevin feels when he leaves his tree. So he clung to his tree as he knew what to do and was never too keen to trying anything new. That means he is not going to try it if it's new. So when Wombat stopped by and shouted one day, Hey Kevin, why don't you come down here and play? Um, I think, he replied, I should stay on my plant. I'm busy right now. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Why not, cried the ruse with a super loud cheer. Yes, why, called the dingoes. There's nothing to fear. But Kevin, who'd never been one to act fast, said, I've clean to do, but it's nice that you asked. As Kevin sat watching them chatter and share, a part of him wished he could join in down there. But he knew he'd miss home. It was so dark and so late. The whole thing was risky. Adventure could wait. Whatever the invite, he'd always say no. Oh, dear. It seemed Kevin... just couldn't let go. Have you ever been really nervous to try something new and you just wanted to stick with what you knew already? That's how Kevin feels in his tree. That's where he feels safe. So his life was the same. No matter the day, the weeks came and went and the months rolled away and Kevin stayed still while the world moved around until he awoke to a worrying sound. Oh no. Tap, tap, the sound went. Well, this was a blow. Tap, tappity tap, 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 tap. Oh no. What do you think the bird's tapping on? Unclean. 
the crowd called, which had gathered below. Leap and we'll catch you. Just let yourself go. But Kevin was scared. Let go? No, I shan't. I won't, shouted Kevin. Oh, dear. I just can't. Oof. Down came the tree, and with it was bringing crash and a wallop, a Kevin still clinging. So the bird knocked Kevin's trees down, and now he's falling, but he won't let go of the tree. Oh, what's going to happen? Kevin, he carefully opened one eye and looked up at the love staring down from the sky. Then one paw by one paw, he loosened his hold. He felt springy and light and happy and bold. So he's letting go of his tree. Look at all his friends, they're there for him. The worst he could think of had now come to pass, and he was just fine. Why, he felt quite first class. That means he felt really good. So when Wombat leaned over and held his paw out, Kevin no longer felt worry or doubt. When Dingo asked, now will you come out to play? The crowd all joined in with a what do you say? And even though this wasn't part of his plan, Kevin replied, yes, I think that I can. And Kevin from then on was always can do because life can be great when you try something new. So Kevin was scared to leave his tree and he didn't know what he was going to do whenever his friends were asking him to leave. But then he finally got the courage to leave his tree. Something changed and pushed him out of that tree. So I challenge you to do something different. What's something that you can do that's a little bit different for you? It might be trying to ride your bike without training wheels. It might be trying to draw a picture of your own dog to color or drawing a picture of your favorite animal. So I challenge you to try something a little bit different. All right, bye.